In the future, we'll believe things that today seem kind of crazy. Kind of like how it was once crazy to think the Earth orbits the Sun, or that humans evolved from apes. Here are four big ideas that right now seem kind of far-fetched, but in the future, might be no big deal. The universe contains all that is, was, or will be, but what if that's not actually everything? Like, maybe space is so big that parts of it are completely isolated from everything else. Or maybe every quantum interaction really does split reality, with each branch evolving in a universe of its own. We may well detect these other universes someday, and then we'd know for sure that not only are we not the center of everything, neither is our universe. What if you aren't really you? Every decision you think you make is really just the result of crazy complicated but completely predictable chemical reactions in your brain. It's an old question, for sure, but as we learn more and more about how the brain works, we find less and less room for free will. What would a world without free will be like? Oddly enough, probably not that different from how things are now, but we would never be the same. We humans think we're the only sentient beings on Earth, but what if that's not true? We're already starting to recognize that chimpanzees have at least some human rights. What if someday we discover, or just decide, that all kinds of animals are just as conscious as we are, and that we haven't really been treating them all that well? Would that mean meat really is murder? And finally, our brains have given us a huge advantage for the last 100,000 years or so. But that's nothing compared to the billions of years that life has existed on Earth. In terms of evolution, the only thing that matters is the ability to survive and reproduce, and our intelligence has allowed us to do that pretty well, so far. But what if being smart isn't so smart? Like, we can invent our way out of just about any mess, but we're also great at inventing our way into new messes. And some of those can be pretty bad, even catastrophic. What if, in the really long run, it's better to be simple, even dumb, and just really, really good at reproducing? Of course, we can't prove any of this, for now, but the biggest ideas always start with a simple question. What if? What if?